Hello, my little cupcakes. The name of the story is Quackers. Hope you like it. Here we go on our adventure. Meow. Quackers is a duck. He knows he is a duck because he lives at the duck pond with all the other ducks. So here he is over here. He knows he's a duck. He lives at the duck pond. And everyone he knows is a duck. Duck, 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 duck. Look at all these ducks. One looks a little different, if you ask me. But sometimes he feels like he, he doesn't quite fit in. Well, take a look. He doesn't look the same as the other ducks, does he? He doesn't quite fit in. He often has trouble communicating. Meow, meow, meow. Quack. He doesn't care much for the dinner options. Slugs, worms, snails, seeds, algae, duckweed. Not duckweed again. Look at him saying, like, no, more duckweed. Please, not duckweed. That's like a plant. Most of all, he hates getting wet. Most ducks don't hate getting wet. He hates it. Look at him dipping his toes in. Not wanting to go in the water. Meow. Meow. Then one day Quackers met a strange duck. Meow. Look at the two, two supposed ducks looking at each other. Quackers was overjoyed. You understand me? Of course I do. I've never met a duck who understands me. A duck? Wait a second. You think you're a duck? Do you really think you're a duck? So he said, you understand me? He said, he said, of course I do. He said, I've never had a duck that understands me. He said, you think you're a duck? The strange duck whose name turned out to be Mittens seemed to find something very amusing. <laughs> he thinks he's a duck. Min saw for a moment and said, you better come with me. So Min started laughing like, you think you're a duck? Come with me, I want to show you something. That's where I live. Quackers had never been anywhere so entirely unlike home. So Min took him to the barn where he lived. He said, that's where I live. And Quackers had never seen anything like it. Inside was a whole flock of strange ducks. Ducks like quackers. Just look at all those ducks. We're cats, silly. We chase mice. Way more fun than swimming. Drink milk. So much tastier than duckweed. And clean ourselves. Well, this isn't quite as exciting, but you'll get used to it. So he went to see the, the other flock of ducks and said, we're not ducks, we chase mice. We drink milk, we clean ourselves. We're cats. Before long, Quackers felt right at home. Aw, look at him with all the other kittens. He felt at home. Quackers liked being a cat, but he began to miss the duck pond. He missed the rustle of the wind through the, the reeds. He missed snuggling under a warm, feathery wing. He even missed the taste of duckweed. This isn't so bad. So he missed the duck pond. He missed a lot of things of the, of the ducks. He missed them. He, they were his friends. And when he arrived back at the pond, he realized that most of all, he missed his friends. Quack, quack, quack. Purr. So the most of all, he realized more than anything else, he missed his friends at the pond. He missed them. Look at them giving him a hug. He missed them terribly. Now Cracker spends part of his days at the farm, chasing mice, drinking milk, and cleaning himself. This part is still not that great. And part of, the, part of the time at the pond. Who wants duckweed? Quack, quack. So he's, he's being half a cat and half a duck. So now he's doing both, chasing mice, drinking milk, cleaning himself, and eating duckweed at the pond. Quackers is a duck, and Quackers is a cat too. But most of all, he's just quackers, and that makes him completely happy. So he's being both a cat and a duck. 
And most of all, he's just being himself. And that makes him so happy. The end. Hope you liked it.